I have observed many people reaching the end of their lives during my practice. Truth is, it's a mixed picture. The two patient stories I describe here are really a blend of hundreds of experiences. Mrs. A is in her late 80s, walks two miles every day, mostly outside, but inside a wellness center when sidewalks are icy. She eats a balanced, light diet and is connected to many friends. Mrs. A is spiritually connected and life has been and continues to be meaningful to her. Mrs. B is also in her late 80s, has never been much for exercise, and now is unable to walk without the help of her walker. She lives in an assisted living center and has made some friends there, but remains rather critical of them. She asks her kids whenever they visit to take her home. Mrs. B has had some tough and some happy times during her life, but now she remains rather bitter. At age 82, comedian Rodney Dangerfield, who had studied the relationship between sexuality and longevity, said, I'm at the age where food has taken the place of sex in my life. In fact, I've just had a mirror put over my kitchen table. Reading that made me laugh out loud, but I see Dangerfield's comment as both funny and sad. Indeed, this thing called growing old is a mixed picture. Should we celebrate it or fear it? Does it give us wisdom and meaning or just aches and pains? I suggest we embrace both sides of the picture. Let's choose to live as long and as well as our luck and genetics allow us. We would all do better with regular exercise, eating less, connecting with the earthly and the spiritual. Let's also choose to kindly accept the fact that someday we will reach the end of our lives. We can take healthy steps by creating an advanced directive, understanding the kinds and causes of dementia and facing the inevitable death of the ones we love. Embracing the mixed picture allows accepting processes we cannot change, avoiding suffering that could happen and savoring the things that matter. Bottom line lessons from Mrs. A and B, like any piece of art, we can choose how we view the mixed picture of our own aging landscape. Those who live with misery, anger, and vengefulness will likely die that way. Those who glean meaning and joy from observation, giving to others, and opening our hearts to the spiritual will find aging a grand masterpiece.